Welcome back. By far the most popular question I've received since we started this COVID-19 vaccine segment has everything to do with health conditions and whether those might take precedence over age in Ohio when it comes to getting in line for the shot. Today we learned category 1C will include pregnant women, people with type 1 diabetes and folks who've had bone marrow transplants, among others. But the expansion does not cover all conditions. So for the people still waiting, I asked Dr. Steve Fagans of Mercy Health and Hamilton County Public Health the following. Are there such things, to the best of your knowledge, as places that might give someone consideration based on their urgency or need for a vaccine because of a health condition? You know, that's a great question. Is there some place you can go? And the, and the answer is no. We are all, every vaccine provider, all 800 of us in the state of Ohio, are under exact same regulations in, in, in who we give this vaccine to. And you've seen examples of where individuals um, in other states have gone outside that, um, have, um, have, have not followed those rules, and there's been repercussions for that. And so that's why we are all under exactly the same guidelines. So yes, no, or no there's not uh, a place for which um, you might get um, you know, a consideration here or there. We're all following exactly the same regulations as we kind of walk down in age for, for vaccine distribution. If you know of a nearby clinic that's giving vaccinations and routinely has people who do not show up for appointments, might it behoove you to try and get on their wait list? So if you live nearby, so that if they have extra vaccine that they don't want to go to waste, they might give you a call? You know, um, it doesn't hurt. I'll tell you what uh, Hamilton County uh, does um, for our mass vaccinations is that when we get down, and, and granted, we're talking about like four or five doses, um, you know, some proportion of a 10 dose file. And so um, we actually um, have a wait list on our uh, police officers. And so um, we kind of call and, and, they, and they come um, to law enforcement. We've chosen to do that. We're within our state guidelines to, to do that. So that's what Hamilton County does. Um, there are other uh, healthcare providers that um, have um, waiting list, but just remember that um, it's just some proportion in less than 10 that's going to be kind of available um, at the end of the day. But it never hurts to call and inquire about, listen, if you can't find anybody put that arm in, you're about to throw that vaccine away, put it in my arm. Good to know. As Dr. Fagans has said in this segment before, you have to be persistent, but also patient at the same time. Do you have a question? Send us an email or reach out to me on Facebook.